Kyle Canal. I don't think many people had you penciled into the quarterfinals of the bracket. You and uh, Sadarian Perry of Eastern Michigan are crashing the party. Appropriately enough, and the, the, the MAC is the host school, okay? The Beulah, 60 miles dead east along the shoreline, right? How, how much are you feeding off this crowd, man? And, and, and you're in a really good place right now. And, and did you have him pinned in that, in that, that round two match? I mean, I thought I had him pinned. I uh, was holding there for a while and felt like both of his shoulders were right down there, especially when I, when I readjusted to put my hand under his head. So I, I don't know what, what was up with that. Um, I felt, I don't know. I forgot what you said, honestly. No, just riding the crowd a little bit. Okay. You know, like Northeast yeah. Ohio, Ashton yeah, Beulah. It's awesome. Like, there were some people right up in the stands before my match, like, go Kent State, even though they were wearing Ohio State stuff, but they were still cheering for me. I got fist bumps for all around. When I got done, it's just amazing. Like, these, like they love it here. And I'm, I'm very, very lucky to be wrestling here right now in the hotbed of one of the hotbeds of wrestling. So, with all my family, friends here, and then supporters I don't even know, just from Ohio, so it's amazing, it's an amazing feeling. You were in the depths, man. It, you know, you were done with the sport. We talked about this last time, you know, after the last win. And you had a pigtail into this, by the way. Yes. I think that needs to be mentioned as well. But, you know, you look at this, how, I mean, this high keeps going for you, man. You're riding the wave right now. How much momentum do you have? You stole a bit at the MAC tournament, right? Yeah. How much of momentum do you have right now? I feel like I have a crazy amount of momentum. Um, feeling awesome. Every every win's just getting better and better. So I started off a little slow. I'm gl I'm honestly glad I got that that rat tail match out of the way, and I feel like I wrestled really well in my second match because of it. So everything just feels it's going up, and I'm excited for tomorrow. So, kind of beginning of the a year ago, you weighed. Your coach just told me 265 pounds. Around there, yeah. Did you ever, you know, and and, and we talked back over break. Did you did you ever envision being able to stay in the winners and you know get back into the NCAA quarterfinals? I did not think I was ever gonna wrestle again. So at at one point, and if I did think about wrestling, I didn't think I was gonna be able to make it down to 97. But uh, I did it, and it feels awesome, and it's 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 really rewarding. Right. Now I feel like it's all this hard work has paid off, and I feel like I've pushed through a, just a lot of adversity this year. I I. Uh, I stayed really strong. I kept my head head up high the whole year, so it feels great. You know, I was talking to Ian. You know, you guys were teammates. You wrestled Madison Square Garden together. You know, he's one of the most explosive guys in the country. You were right there. You were, you were there, and then that year off. And I asked Ian. I said, "Can can this guy get back? I think he can All American if he goes to heavyweight. You know, because you're big, yeah. right?" And Ian's like, "No way, man. You can't take you you can't be out of it that much. Uh -huh. You're proving Ian wrong right now. I like that. <laughs> okay, but you know." You know, such a low, low to such a high, high. What's what's it been like in the last 365 days for Kyle Canal? Um, it's. It, I mean, it's. It was rough. Like the first. I mean, being away from wrestling was. It was. It, it felt good in in one sense, but it felt like I was giving up on myself in another sense. And I always had that little voice in my head, like, "Hey, maybe like maybe you'll go back. Um, maybe you'll try again." And. It really didn't happen, like I said, it really didn't happen until late in the summer that I decided to come back. So it's, it's it was it was definitely rough at first, and like I had my ups and downs and and everything. But uh, I had a great support system. I've always had a great support system, but I mean these guys are amazing. So it's it's uh, it's it's been it's been great. It's been it's been up and down, but I'm satisfied with the whole journey. I don't regret taking last year off. I never will. Uh, I'm glad I made that decision. I think it was better for me. I think I feel rejuvenated and happy to be around the sport again. So I think it, I think it's all paid off. Cal, your first two matches, you got takedowns by hooking onto an ankle and, and hanging onto it. And in that match, the opposite. He, he tried to go upstairs with you. And yeah. How, how, comfortable, how comfortable are you, you know, with, with the different styles and different techniques that it takes to win? Um, Upper body has been kind of rough for me this year. It was, it was actually a couple years ago. It was, it was one of my go-tos, and I've, uh, I definitely uh, fell on my face a couple times this year trying to go upper body with people and lost matches because of it. But with him, I felt it was there. I tried to go for the single, and I really, I really tried really hard, and I felt like it wasn't there. So 
um, the upper body it felt like he felt like he wasn't ready for it so so I took my took my chance I feel like I could have probably gone again against him but I felt comfortable where I was in the match so I kind of was just hanging out a little bit at the end when match management that, yeah when you get that under hook in how do you know like when is it time to, to toss um I feel like I, I feel like I can feel their hips in a way so like I, I can feel if he's going to fight me a lot like when I wrestled the Oklahoma State kid <clears throat> before I felt like he was really good in upper body and I remember a couple years ago I wrestled this kid from Navy and he was like I could just I could just feel like he was comfortable where he was and he I, he wasn't giving at all with the upper body so I kind of stayed I know which guys to stay away from with it and and it's just it's just getting the feel for their hips and and like if I can tell that they're comfortable with it so quarters tomorrow what do you got uh, I think no more. more. More? Yeah. Have you wrestled yet? No. Good luck, man. Thank you. I'm excited. <laughs>